Those of you that have watched my content today are probably looking at my face and thinking, God, Andy looks tired. God, Andy could do with seeing a razor. All of the usual things. Well, you're dead right. And uh, the reason for that is Monday evening was a hell of a night. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right, I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments below. Everything's all right where you are. Well, this really is a taxi story about how airport transfers can go a bit caca. You see, when I run my airport transfer firm, and when I look at the work that everybody has to do, I look at, first of all, what work I want to take on myself during the month, and then I look at what work is available, which I can then pass out to the other drivers. Well, Monday night just gone. And, well, Tuesday as well, in fact. I had a series of jobs set up, which would have been, uh, well, very, very nice indeed. On Monday night, at quarter to 12, quarter to midnight, I was supposed to pick up eight young ladies from Stansted Airport. And they'd all gone on a hen do abroad in uh, Spain somewhere, Malaga, I think, uh, because one of them was actually getting married in September. And this is one of the things we do a fair amount of times, hen do's, stag do's. No problem. I, <laughs> so I thought, well, my 11.45 should have got me home about half past two the following morning, Tuesday morning. I would have then got up. And then I had to be down in a place called River, near Dover, uh, to pick some people up at 9.45 Tuesday morning, take them up to Gatwick, hang around for about four and a half hours, pick someone up who was landing off of a quarter past three flight, bring them home, come home myself. That would have been my day, quite manageable. Well, it went a bit wrong, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> The French air traffic control decided to go on strike and it caused absolute chaos, absolute carnage for thousands of passengers and obviously had a knock-on effect of us cabbies being uh, a little bit perturbed. Well, that was my plan and this is actually what happened. I woke up at half past ten Monday night after having had some sleep to a message from my customer, one of the girls, telling me flight's delayed. I decided to go up there at, I think it was uh, 11.30. I left home at 11.30. I, I got up to uh, Stansted Airport at 1.30, 1.30 in the morning. They landed at 10 past 1, and this was all because of the air traffic control situation. And one of my drivers uh, who uh, does bits and pieces for me was actually up there as well. Same problem. And all the way down south at Gatwick, there was the same problem as someone else I'd sent down there to pick up some other people. So we were all out and it was all delayed. When I picked them up and got them home, I got home at five o'clock in the morning, straight into bed. Having to be in Dover at, uh, you know, 9.45, I've got to leave my house about half past eight, quarter to nine at the very latest. I was not happy with three hours sleep. <laughs> I went up to Gatwick uh, Tuesday morning, dropped the other passengers off. I know I can get by on three to four hours. And I, I went around the local Tesco, I was having a fry up. And I started going, ugh, ugh. So what I ended up doing up at Gatwick, they have a taxi waiting area. And I ended up in there. And I slept in the car, but it was so hot. It was about 15, 16 degrees up at Gatwick Tuesday. So... Uh, I picked up the other customers, came home. Hello, wife. Hello, Jack. Hello, everybody. Straight to bed. Uh, it was a hell of a couple of days, all because of the French air traffic control strikes. If you're watching this and heard this story, are you a cab driver that had similar trouble? Are you a passenger that got in trouble? Let me know. Let's compare notes on an interesting 24 hours. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you with one more shortly. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.